Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about one of the most interesting Chat GPT Chrome extension that I found recently. That is Chat GPT Jupiter AI Assistant. So this particular extension helps us in integrating Chat GPT with the Jupiter notebooks. And now we can leverage the power of Chat GPT in a Jupiter notebook. So in this video we will be seeing the a particular demo how this particular extension works. So let's get started. So first of all, I would be adding this particular extension to my Chrome browser. Add to Chrome. It is not that popular, but it's a great tool. Here you can see at the bottom of the screen that it is getting added to Chrome. Now, here you can see that the particular rocket logo, which represents the Jupiter integration. Now I will open one of my existing notebooks. So basically, it is a notebook that helps us to visualize uh, open a gym environments you, uh, over some trained reinforcement learning agents so you can see that in a normal jupyter notebook you see similar logo options still this particular keyboard but due to this particular extension you can see these extra added options as well so we will see what are these options so first is to format so if you click on this particular format key it is asking us to first of all log in into our chat gpt account this is required that you should be logged in and in your system you should be logged in with the chat gpt account on the official chat gpt website now i have logged in into my chat gpt account now here you can see that waiting for chat gpt response has started here and it has provided you with a fully formatted code as the length of the form as the length of the output is restricted here you can see that it is trying if the code would be small it would be able to format this code as well because the particular single cell is quite big that is why the uh, formatting is not visible is not coming for all the whole code but if you do it in snippets it will work now here the second part is explain the code so if i click on this here you can see that it is coming with an explanation that the code that the python so that i'm trying to run is for training an open agent called this car racing 2 with a pre-trained tensorflow model the script uses pygame to display the environment on the screen and allow the user to view the car racing game being played. So it has explained you the whole, uh, the crux of the whole script, what it's trying to do. As you can see that for most of the line uh, code snippet, we are getting line by line explanation as well. Okay, what we are doing in the first set of lines that is importing the code. Second is like we are creating an instance of car racing game two or uh, for the ra car racing version two. Then the code initializes some variables that will use later in the script. So here you can see that how it is able to explain what the what actually the code is doing now this is a debug mode here you can see the complete mode so if you provided some incomplete code it will be providing you with a complete code as well here is a code review that we can do here is a question that we can ask in this question you can also ask for some extra code like for example if i write it uh, code for fibonacci series So here you can see that you got a code snippet for Fibonacci series. Now you can copy paste it directly. And then here is a voice question as well. So you can record your voice directly and then you can get an answer. So here you saw how what a great extension it has been. Chat GPT Jupyter AI Assistant, which can be of great use when you're working with Jupyter Notebooks.